Hello and welcome to this lecture. So now we have the HA cluster up and running. We see that the PC has uh, internet connectivity. So before we do the failover, meaning that I will just shut down the first FortiGate, gate, you should also see that, for example, I will access the, the CLI on the, on the active master. So let's do this. I want to show you basically something that's uh, important. So priority when uh, the, the master is elected, it's just one of the things that are taken into consideration, but it's not the first one. So if you want to know exactly, so hopefully the CLI starts. If you want to know exactly basically what was the reason for electing one of the, the firewalls of the Fortinet uh, firewalls as master, you would execute a command that you will see just in a moment. So while waiting the CLI console to, to start, please note that the 48 VM running in, uh, in trial mode like it is now has some limitations and one of them is the speed, the throughput, the total throughput that's, uh, that can go through it or, or flow. So it's limited and uh, when you're doing the labs, you may experience latency. So don't worry, just wait, but it will work. So now let's say get system HA, so high availability status. And here we say, so master selected using. So this, uh, this serial number is selected as master because, and we cannot see it, so I will just put it in another tab. Just click this button here. Okay, so now it's booted up. So it has here, uh, this serial number is selected as the master because it has the largest value of override priority. And this one is selected as master because it's the only member in the cluster. And you can see that it's basically the same certain serial number. So now we have the FortiGate up and running. We have ping uh, that's working as well. So what we should do now is navigate to GNS3. So let's see the, the FortiGate firewall interface first. So I'll click on it. Here is the master, here's the slave, and I will now just go to GNS3. And on the forgate one, which is the master, I will just say stop. So forgate one is stopping. And here it is done. So now let's go again to basically VMware workstation and Windows 10 and log in again. So in the in the first in the first tab 192.168.100.254 remember it was 48-1. So admin click enter for login and let's see the result now. Now here it is. So 48 VM64 and now it shows 48-2. So this means that the failover was successful and now we have only one 48 firewall in the cluster. It has, it is synchronized, it has priority 128, it is 48-2 again and has the role of master. So if we navigate now to this, to command prompt and I will do a control C. Let's take a look what happened. So going up, 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 we have, we have two packets here. We could see some packets uh, dropped like, I don't know, a couple of them, three or four. No, so um, basically, yeah, the failover was uh, more than successful. We've seen, we've seen, I think two packets. Yeah, two packets at one point and everything was just running um, like it should be. So basically you, could, you can consider it as no packet loss. If we now go on the Fortinet page, we will try to navigate to a different menu or something, but anyway, uh, seeing the, the ping as successful, it is already a, a good proof that it is working. So let's navigate now to something else. 
and let's go to let's say products yeah so internet is working it is successful now if we also go back to 48 2 we see that it is the only one in the cluster it has the master role i will now go i will uh, i will now go back to the gns3 and power up this 48-1 vm so start 48-1 it's starting let's look in the consoles so this is 48-1 just to make sure it is right i will close it go to gns3 right click click on console it will open a new one so i want to make sure that uh, that this console is in sync with the the power up uh, process of the 48 firewall here it is so it's up and running let's go back now to windows 10 machine and i will click refresh now let's uh, let's log in so admin and hit enter and here we go so now the 40 gate one it's online again and when trying to navigate to the 254 ip address we see that we have landed again on 48-1 now when the ha boots up we will see again that the 481 it's the master and the second one with the default priority of 128 it's again slave so that would be all for this session we have seen the the failover as being successful the um, the lan user the end pc basically did not lose connectivity to the internet and everything worked just as expected so really thank you for your time and see you in the next lecture